didn't see you there. Well, uh, so this is our circuit uh, over here. So basically the objectives of our circuit is to fill up this balloon. And we have two different methods to do that. One method is based on a timer relay, the other based off this pressure transmitter. However, the timer relay is set up such that if the wires going from the pressure transmitter to the alarm relays, if those fail and we get no signal, the timer relay will still complete the balloon filling. Let's see it in action. Here we are demonstrating the ability of the system to trip once hitting an upper pressure limit. Once pressing the green button to fill the balloon, the signal from the pressure transmitter passes through the first alarm relay, which will only trip if there's no signal. Meanwhile, the pressure transmitter signal doesn't reach the second alarm relay until the first timer relay goes off, and the second alarm relay then receives power and will trip once the upper pressure limit is reached. Here we see that power now reaches the second alarm relay. Now the alarm relay has tripped from hitting the upper pressure limit and the balloon starts to deflate. Welcome back to Engineers at Olin. So now to challenge our circuit, we are going to put it through the test case of what happens if one of our wires from the pressure transmitter, what happens if that fails? So in order to simulate that, we're gonna come over here and here we have our inputs. So we're just gonna unscrew this and take these out. So now there is no input from the pressure transmitter into our alarm relays. So now, Let's see it get to work. So now we're going to demonstrate the use of using the push button to the red push button for our manual stop and override. So here, flip the breaker on. This is, this is our ready state light. Push the button, it gets started. We're starting to inflate the balloon and we're going, we're going. I'm not happy with how big that balloon is. Now we're gonna empty it. Push button two, overridden, balloon deflates.